All right, you're good. Okay, and we are recording, so um, call to order at 514. Um, invocation will be calm. Father, we thank you for the individuals that take the time to uh, help the Native American students. And we thank you for this day. We thank you for the, the rain that's coming in. We thank you for the COVID being corralled now and and taking less lives. Father, we thank you for everything that you have given us and continue to help us. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Give a nice day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, six members present. Um, Tom, do you do you need me to, to call roll, or do you know everyone? I think I know everyone. Well, I don't know. Uh, Stephanie, for a thing. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Wendy Walker is the one that's absent. Wendy Walker. Mm -hmm. She. I thought she was still one. Uh, She's a member, but she's asked, she had to work tonight. Okay. All right. Roll call. Uh, Tim? Yes. Present. Anthony? Present. Stephanie? Stephanie? Present. Julie? Present. Uh, Lori. 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 And Lisa. <laughs> Present. And I'm here. <laughs> Okay, so we do have a quorum. Six out of our seven members are here. All right, Tom. This is a, a special meeting to approve the Yeah, we don't have any um, minutes from the last meeting. Um, we, we, Linda and I made the executive decision to wait and hold those until our next regularly scheduled meeting, since this is just a special meeting. So we'll give you those minutes and these minutes on that regularly scheduled meeting. We want a new business. Uh, this is a review and approval of the FY 2021 budget revision that we've got here. Y'all want to look over. It's just a correcting the allotment. May I speak to this? Absolutely. Okay. Um, when we get our original allocation for the beginning of the school year, that's based on the number of students that we turn in in the spring of the previous school year, and it's it's fifty dollars a student from Creek Nation. We get thirty four dollars of that from the national JON from the federal government, and then Creek Nation puts puts the other sixteen dollars in. So that's our original allocation, and then we do a midterm adjustment where we add names of students who we've gained, and we take away students who have left the district and get a more accurate number and that happens in January. Let me take my mask off. That happens in January. And so after that midterm adjustment, they give us $60 a student. And so if we, uh, if that $60 per student is an increase, then we get that difference of that money. So usually it's a little bit larger, but we still lost students this year. We're just continuing to lose 
Indian Ed students, just as we're losing students um, out of the regular, you know, the gen ed population. So um, we did have an increase. It just wasn't as much as we typically do. It was um, $2,360. Our original allocation was 64,000. And so with this $60 per kid, we got um, 66,360. So, with that increase in the money that they're giving us, we have to do a budget revision to tell them where we're planning on spending that those additional funds. Because we do a budget like this in our original application for our allocation that we have, um, stating where we're gonna spend those funds for that original allocation. So we have to redo it when we do this. One of the main things that um, we have to change in this is that we train our tutors, send them to like the National JOM Conference and the State JOM Conference, and that's, that travel is a, a large chunk of money typically, but the school district has not allowed us to travel this year. Um, so we have not had that money taken out, so we've had to reorganize those categories of where we had planned for that money to go in addition to adding that extra two thousand three hundred and sixty dollars okay. so the budget revision um, on the page two just shows what we originally had budgeted in those areas and um, what we want the change to be you don't have this packet in your book no, no. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I am so sorry. I thought those were already in your. Well, if they are, but, but, so I'm sorry. Second. Okay. Page. Okay. Sorry. Well, that's I was like, well, maybe it's in here. Yeah. Here's the Okay. All right. Thank you. So, if you have any questions about the changes in the budget from the original budget to what we're revising it to, just let me know, and I will entertain those questions. Um, that you have. We, I'll let everybody go, go ahead and put, I was going to let everybody look it over before we, our new folks look it over and some of us, you know, we're more, we're more familiar with what's going on with it. And, uh, what did you need, Tom? What did you want on? We have to we make a motion. We will here in a minute. Let the, the, let them look over it. Need a motion to accept the root budget revision for 2021. I'll make a motion. I don't think you can. Yeah, because you're oh. chair. I'll make a motion to accept the budget revision as presented. Well, what if you want them to start? Okay. I'll second it. Well, Glory it. seconded. Okay, good enough. Okay. All in favor of uh, the budget revision signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. But Lori's lagging behind, she almost got a post. <laughs> 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 Motion carried. Uh, the uh, parent guardian concerns, uh, since we're on Facebook and, and live, we'll see if we've got anything there. Nothing right now. Or any student concerns, anything like that. I would be surprised if we see much tonight. So I would be too. Um, Lori or anyone else, if anyone on the committee has any announcements that you would like to make, we can do those while we're waiting for any comments to be made on um, Facebook or YouTube. Lori has an announcement. Let me turn you up, Lori. I knew you would. I knew you would. <laughs>
Okay, so if, if in case you didn't, you couldn't hear that, or um, anyone on Facebook couldn't hear that, she wanted to announce the live at five is still going strong on Tuesday evening. Um, are you you're still doing it from the mall, right? So so people can still come. We do still have distance learning one on one at the mall from five to six thirty, and then we also do from five to five thirty a live version, which is going to be um, which is on Facebook Live, and so. Um, we will video Facebook uh, our five at the service center on the 25th. I believe it's the 25th. Okay. Okay. So we're skipping. The 23rd. Uh, yeah, we're we're skipping next week. The 23rd. Sorry. The 23rd. The 23rd. Yes, um, on the 23rd, and um, but there will be somewhere someone at the mall at five o'clock. Okay. We just want people to tune in either virtually and or in person if um, they are able. Okay. And then the other announcement that she made was about our summer school. We're doing summer school a little bit different this year where it's going to be an all-day thing, but the academic portion will be in the morning just like always, but there will be activities in the afternoon, so there will be a plethora of things for the students to um, enjoy. We're going to call it Camp Rise. Ruffers Camp Rise, um, so that stands for Recreation, Innovation, Scholarship, and Engagement. Um, and we are, we they will have STEM activities that they stay on campus for in the afternoon. There will be some field trips where they go to places locally, and then a couple of times they'll go to Tulsa in the summer. They will have the opportunity to uh, participate in the Ruffer youth sports academy in the afternoon that'll be like a week-long rotation for them for every student so every student third through fifth will go through that or kindergarten through fifth actually we're doing kindergarten through fifth we'll have that rotation um so it's going to be hopefully extremely fun for them it will be from eight to three i think breakfast starting earlier than that for the younger kids and then nine to Three for the older kids. The um, high school students will not be required to stay in the afternoons because we understand that some of them will have to work or ha have other obligations. Um, but we will put together some college visits for them in the afternoons and some volunteering opportunities. And this is district-wide, it's not just for Indian Ed. Um, we want as many of our students to participate just because the data that has come out recently nationwide regarding student achievement gaps due to the um, COVID pandemic and the um, being in and out of school and distance learning. Uh, so it's going to be 40 days, four days a week for 10 weeks. Um, and then they'll get a week off and start back on the Thursday of the next week, I think is what um, we have said. So. It, where there'll be Indian education programming. We are going. We are going to implement some Indian education cultural events, but I don't know that that the Indian Ed people will actually be there. Okay. We're going to have teach them um, native games, so like uh, stickball and marbles and chunky. Um, and do teach them those things. We'll go to the Heritage Center in Tahlequah um, to take them through the ancient village to show them that and the museum where they have the Tears <laughs> um, uh, museum. So um, it's, I, I think it's going to be amazing. I know that some of your kids will be like, but we're going <laughs> to do such great things in the afternoon. And so it's not going to be like all day school. It's not going to be like a normal school day. It'll be 90 minutes of ELA and 90 minutes of math. And then we also have a social and emotional learning section built in where that's going to be um, <coughs> curriculum that they can uh, build their social emotional intelligence awesome. there. So that's where that's normal, great. School day, normal school day is now because it's, <coughs> it's not normal anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a typical, I guess, in session school day. Yeah. Um, so we are really excited to be able to offer that this year. Um, we hope that we 
have a large, we're gonna, like I was telling Ms. Rose and Mr. Shoemaker, we're going to partner with some other groups around town. So if we have kids that want to participate in the Little Theater Summer Program, then we can bust them over if they're part of that program. You know, I think the Roxy is a youth program as well, when we were talking about Austin. Okay. So and I think that's a youth, I, I'm almost sure it is. So we want to partner with all of those groups so that is. if our kids want to participate in those things and have the means to do so, they still will have that opportunity. They just will continue to come to um, morning academic session and then we'll make sure that we get them to the um, their location and we will have we will serve breakfast and lunch and we spoke with um, we had a summer school committee meeting today and Miss Kim Hall who is our um, child nutrition director said that she will provide hot meals for them for lunch oh, cool. so okay. it won't just be sandwiches and yeah fruit yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, Steve, do we have any comments? Nope. Okay. And Madison was just texting me, said that we're not on Facebook. We're on YouTube, and she's not picking up on Facebook. So I, I, I posted the link to uh, to Facebook. Yeah. Okay. okay uh, if that's it, I guess we uh, get motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn our meeting. Second. 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 Yes, and I will have the um, JOM, the new JOM application ready for you to peruse. So if you have any ideas about what you would like for us to, based on these categories, um, would like to put into our new application, please call me, email me, um, and I can go through with you individually some of the things that we do with our JOM funds if you're not sure. So for the, those two